Hey guys, welcome back to the Starkville YouTube channel. I'm going to do another video on things to sell on eBay. And for this video, we're going to talk about cordless phones. Now, I just started selling these within, oh, maybe the last six months. Because I didn't really think, you'd see them all the time in thrift stores. And I just thought, ah, that's junk. No one has a phone anymore. But you'd be surprised how well they sell. I haven't had a cord, or I haven't had a phone for my house in over a decade. But a lot of people still do. And one thing that really got me into it was I was at a fill -a bag sale and there was an entire set still in a, in a bag, like not in the box still, but in like a grocery bag. And it was Panasonic and it was three uh, extension bases, like what this thing looks like, and one main base with like the answering machine and stuff on it. And I thought, hey, let's give it a shot. So I threw it in my, threw the bag in my fill -a bag. And when I got home, I looked at it closer, and the receipt was still there. And it was bought in 2015 from Radio Shack. And um, the person paid like $80 or $90. It was like $79.99 or $89.99. I was like, what the hell? People pay this much for cordless phones? Like, that was, blew me away. So that's when I started selling them and started actually paying attention to them. That particular set, I parted out. And that's one thing you have to decide when you're looking for these or when you're picking them up at the thrift stores and garage sales and stuff is do you want to sell the individual pieces um, or do you want to put it all together I parted that out um, the headsets I got twenty dollars a piece for I think I got sixteen dollars a piece for these expansion bases and I don't know what I got for the main thing but it's gone so it sold at some point but anyway um, it's really something to keep an eye out on um, a couple things. It seems like here's this one with the answering machine base. This D E C T. And like I said, I haven't had a cordless phone in a decade. I don't know what the hell D E C T is or decked or I don't know six point oh. It must be like the newest technology or newest versions because those seem to sell the best. But I've also had some good luck with the two point four gigahertz, and I do remember those from when I had a cordless phone. So that's been around for a while. Um, but just like anything else on eBay, you're going to be looking up the model number to see how they're selling and get an idea of how other people are selling it. Um, when I go to list these, I always want to test them as best as I can beforehand. And that that is the one problem with them, and we'll get to it in a second what the problem is. But when you go to list them, you want to check as much as you can. So I would recommend buying uh, a little battery like this. I think I got a two or three pack on Amazon for four dollars in free shipping or something. But it's a model BT1021, and I'll put a link down below. Um, because that's a pretty standard size battery, and you can just plug it in there if I can figure out which way it goes. And if you have the uh, if you have the entire set, the handset and the uh, base, then you can ch check like connecting it and everything. But as far as this goes, I would just make sure all the buttons seem to work, the ringer works. And if it did that, um, that's enough for me to decide that it works. The Panasonic ones I got were really nice because they used AAA batteries, so that was super easy to deal with. Um, when you get these... If, if you get one of these phones and it already has a battery in it, the battery is probably no good. But the problem is, if you don't have a new battery that you know is a good battery, it's really hard to tell, is the battery the problem? Is the phone the problem? Is the charger the problem? There's too many links in that chain. So by having a battery that you know works, um, you can eliminate what the possible other problems are. So And that's why I like this over here. I don't actually have this for sale. I keep it so I can charge the batteries that I have. So I need a charge base for that. So like I said, the Panasonic ones I sold did really well. Um, the Uniteds have been all right, not as good. And VTech I haven't had any luck at at all. Obviously there's a ton of other brands, but those are the only ones I've really messed with. I've had a lot of the Panasonic ones. For whatever reason, they seem to be the best selling and they, they're available. So that has been really nice. Um, here you can see, doing the same number thing I've told you guys I've done with other stuff. I put an E on these for electronics, or electronic, I guess, I don't know. And um, I just number each one so I can easily find which one it is. Because you can see if you weren't paying attention how both of these are kind of the same color, and I guess you could confuse them in theory. 
but obviously when you're listening you want to list as many features as you can and you can usually pick up all the features by just what you see here the answering machine and caller ID and different things because all that is selling points for them um, they'll ship first class most of these phones um, I actually ship them in a box because this phone itself is probably only like three ounces it's not much at all uh, so I'll put it in a little box and still get first class shipping out of it uh, the same thing with the little chargers these are going to probably go priority mail or you might be right at the, like 15 16 ounce for first class mail but I'd still put them in a box just because I feel more comfortable doing that Now the one problem about selling these things is you will get people contacting you complaining that it doesn't work when it does because they don't know how to pair it with their existing system. And unfortunately, every phone's different on how you do it. The only good part is it's very, very easy to look up and it's mostly a matter of uh, people being too lazy or not wanting to put in the effort to find out for themselves how to do it. So in two instances, I've had two phones returned and one, the person said it didn't work. It was one of the Panasonic ones. So I had the entire set and he said it didn't work. Um, and I gave him instructions. I looked up on Google how to connect it to his, his existing system. And, um, he said, no, it still doesn't work, still doesn't work. I was like, okay. So he returned it, and I got it, and I connected it to this. the rest of the pieces I still had from the system I bought, and it connected just fine. Uh, since then, I've resold it, and the second person didn't complain. So the guy either didn't know what he was doing or didn't want it after all or whatever the problem was. Uh, another instance, I had the person complain that it wouldn't connect to their phone, and I just Googled the uh, model number and cut-and-paste instructions on how to pair it or connect. You can try using different words. And um, I never heard back from him, so I'm assuming it worked because he didn't put in a return or anything. So that is one thing you will run into. And if you keep them together as a set, like I don't know if this one went to here or here, I don't, I don't know. But if you keep them together as a set, then you don't have to worry about that pairing and connecting issue. Um, and in the future, I would probably do more of that if I do have all the pieces together. Um, I think you make a little bit more if you part it out, but it is more work. It takes up more of your listings, and uh, you do get that potential pairing problem. So, something to keep an eye out for, guys. Um, like I said, this DECT 6.0 seems to sell better than other uh, technologies of these cordless phones. Um, these batteries, or AAA batteries, seem to be the most popular. Uh, obviously, there's other sizes, but these are the only two that I've really had to screw around with. Um, but even if you find other ones, like I said, it was either a pack of two or a three pack, and it was $4 or something in free shipping. So it's not like it's a huge investment. Um, I did bring this over here because I was going to show you guys, but it really doesn't matter. Um, if you're not sure if the charger works or not, you can set a multimeter to DC and put one probe on one side and one on the other, and it'll tell you if it's outputting any voltage so um, if you don't have the battery or if you're not sure if it's working that's one way to do it so thanks for watching guys hopefully this helps you out you can go out and find some cordless phones when you're out at the thrift stores um they like said usually about a buck is what i pay for them so it could be a pretty good deal thanks for watching guys